Hi, Kauti here. Today we're not gonna be building, and uh, because I need to upload something this weekend, I think I'm just gonna do something quick. Today, what we're gonna do is we're going to explore some of the older maps that I build for autumn so that we can get the autumn vibes, you know. So, yeah, kind of like a throwback. Gonna be relaxing at least. So, where are we right now? We are in an autumn island <laughs> i literally made this island using a world painter and then i made this it's a pretty okay house and this was like one of my earliest builds i guess this was two years ago yeah we're gonna do a little bit of exploring this is the house this is one of my earliest builds and i've never used brown color before it's a mixture of miniaturia and Kokricot. You can tell this is miniaturia from the style of the roof. Over here, you have a pergola. I, I just cannot build without pergolas. You see, look at that. Oh, just sunlight. Yeah, you can sit over here, get some coffee, a toast, and some egg. And then you can also sit over here and relax. You can also sit over here. It's a cushion. And over here, it's a, it's a tiny garden. What is going on over here? This is how it's supposed to be. So we can go inside and see the interiors. So the fireplace is kind of an afterthought. I put the sofa somewhere around here or maybe like it was the, the way around. Because of this, I changed the layout of this room. And now it kind of makes sense because this is the living room. And of course, you want to feel warm over here. And yeah, this is the kitchen. I love building kitchens with miniaturia. This was like one of the first kitchens that I built using miniaturia. And I had a lot of fun because it's just so cluttered. I mean, like it's not cluttered. It's like so populated. And you can see this is a toaster and then you can push. Uh, there we go. Like the cookware using the hammer. You can push this behind the toaster. So it's so packed. It's not like vanilla where everything is just furnace yeah i mean like you can get creative and vanilla but this is so realistic this is like a barrel of water this is probably the worst part of this house because of how confusing it is they have three doors bathroom this one's bathroom okay there we go this is the bathroom this is the shower room and then this was before miniaturia added toilet paper so i used deco craft instead the rattan closet and drawers this is like before miniaturia added toothbrushes so I used DecoCraft. I think it was the, the Valentine Cottage. It's for a couple. Someone asked in the comments, why are there three toothbrushes? <laughs> Someone's having an affair? Kind of weird because here's the sink and then you just bring your toothbrush over here. So yeah, this is the bathroom. Nothing special. So this is going to be the, the bedroom. What? Why am I using the default beds from Vanilla? Yeah, we have a gramophone, I have a sewing machine, dental molding. I have a vintage TV we're gonna watch some vhs shows and uh yeah it's really f warm in here despite the fact that there's no heater for some reason i didn't put a heater let's just put a kerosene heater and someone's gonna go ah, it's hot, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, i think that's the reason why i didn't put any and then this one the back door the back rooms the back porch and then the pergola and uh yeah there's nothing else <laughs> it looks pretty big but you have two pergolas you don't usually see me exploring my builds like by flying it's kind of like a, the director's commentary when you're watching a movie or a game there's nothing in here because i was like too lazy to decorate a, an attic that's about it this is the first build that we're gonna explore so there are gonna be four builds and i'll see you in the next one hi i don't think i've ever shared this to public oh my god look at this it's so serene i built two builds in one map and that is the reason why i never made this public one thing that kind of bothers me is this 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 block it's supposed to be it's supposed to be kind of like this it's spread out I don't really get it. It only works on gravel now. This is the pumpkin spice restaurant, which I built for the Biltober from Blisschen. And look at those skies, the colors and the, the whole vibe. So I think it's sunset or is it sunrise? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's sunset. This is just me practicing clutter core. You can tell there's so much clutter. Before we get into the interiors, we can explore the exteriors first. You have this tiny farm of pumpkins. Here, you have a giant pergola. I have pretty large pergola. I mean, like, that's two builds in one video that has pergolas. This is the outdoor seatings. What is it called? Boucher de Noël, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, roasted chicken and it's an orange juice. I love this design so much. I think this is the one that makes it kind of 
laggy. I'm pretty sure you can kind of notice that the frame rate is a bit less. There's like less frame rate. This block right here, hanging lights, is an entity. I don't really use this uh, fairy lights mod that much, even though I always, yeah, it's pretty much in every build, but I don't use it often. Look at this. It's a ghost and uh, it's a pumpkin. Now, this is the interiors. And this is Kokricot, by the way. This is Kokricot. I think this was before I understand how Miniaturia works. Yeah, I made this showcase using Kokricot. I mean, like, building showcases using Miniaturia is kind of easy. All you have to do is just put something and then put the showcase and then use a sh the hammer. I kind of forgot how, how I did this, by the way. But yeah, you have bread and then there are some pancakes and you have this a menu, some drinks. And then it's a tiny kitchen. You have a microwave and then a cookie jar. I always put cookie jars in my builds. It's very vintage, it's very antique. And I think this one is from DecoCraft. Yeah, it's fall wreath. It's not really that bad. It's actually, I kind of like the colors. It's, I mean, it's kind of cartoony still. I mean, like it's DecoCraft. Not saying that DecoCraft is bad, just a different aesthetic. But from afar, and it actually looks pretty good. Curry and rice for some reason. <laughs> you have sofas for couples who want to get comfy. It's quite nice. It's quite nice in here. You can notice that the leaves are really red. This was after I discovered that you can just change the color map. I, I made the color maps just red. And then it turns out like this. I'm, I'm so satisfied with the results. It, it, I think it was like FF0000. It's just red. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. The next build is... Okay, if you go to the journey map, it's over here. And this is the coffee shop. This was the first first day of Blitzchen's Buildtober of 2021. I actually like this even more during early evening like this. It's really small. It's really tiny. So this is a takeaway spot. Oh, I thought that was like a person. You can take your orders over here. This is the restaurant. And there you go. Another pergola. <laughs> If someday I could afford a house, I'm definitely gonna put a pergola. In this economy, to have a house is near impossible. It's even impossible unless I have 1 million subscribers. And get this, the only people who are my age to be able to afford a home are YouTubers with 1 million subscribers. Go figure. Even YouTubers with pretty good careers are struggling with rent. Okay, that's the entrance. This is the kitchen. There's a coffee machine, coffee grinder, an espresso machine, stove, bread, some more bread, some cakes, some pastries, a baguette. Go outside. There's nothing much. It's just a tiny house repurposed to become coffee shop in the middle of nowhere. <music> Last but not least, this one. This is called the Dark European Cottage. I built this when I kind of ran out of ideas. So I came to this, oh wow, the sunlight, oh my god. The god race. So I came to this biome. I didn't really prepare anything. I mean like there's this, there's like this unrealistic form of, I don't know, like a mountain, a hill. It just it looks, this is literally Minecraft. This is so Minecraft. I don't want my bills to look like Minecraft. And, uh, but you know what? I think it's fine. This one was kind of like, I wouldn't call it rushed. Like the amount of effort that I put into this build, probably a little less than my usual ones. So yeah, I mean like, it, 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 I just called it dark. European. I usually have kind of like quirky names, but this one is just dark European and that's it. Because I found this Dutch house and they had like this, they have like this pattern and um, I was kind of inspired. I felt like it was kind of boring and uh, yeah, I just put some mushrooms, like huge mushrooms. I remember I made a comment in the, in the video. These mushrooms were made out of papier mache because yeah, I just want to make it feel realistic. You know, there's no way there's this huge giant mushrooms in real life. And uh, there you go. What do you know? Another pergola. Cool. There's four. There's four out of four. Nice. This is probably the most red leaves I've ever seen because in Kokrikat, dark oak leaves are already red by default. And then I made it even redder. It looks like this. They look like maple. You know, I, I love this. I love these colors. I, you know what? I just love red because of autumn and Minecraft. I guess I, red used to be like my least favorite color because of how bold and brash it looks. But you know what? Red can look beautiful and uh, flamboyant. And uh, this is a tiny garden and then a, a glitching statue of uh, 
a, a whipping angel and then a giant mushroom. Um, a, I think it's fine. I'm just gonna keep it this way. Yeah, this is supposed to be for a couple, I guess. I kind of forgot a lot of things about this build because. Oh wow! So this is combination of Dark Academia, but there's a, <laughs> a the classic Dark Academia setup. Have a tiny library, and uh, yeah. I love this one because this kind of reminds me of I guess it was a house in my dream but that house was inspired by I guess it was a hotel or a cottage or whatever it was really old the floorings were made out of bricks and then there's like an opening over here and then some blinds this part of the house is kind of based on real life I could recall there's a real house that looks like this it's not really a house I'm, I cannot remember if it's a house or a rented cottage and over here you can take your food okay this is the bedroom oh this is not the bedroom this is this is more like a library this is more like a work working area it is a work, workspace oh it's connected to the bedroom i guess we're gonna we're gonna go there in a minute so this is actually a glass you know a frame glass when i built this i don't imagine this as a glass so it's more like just some frame and then you can actually go through it yeah it looks kind of fine you can sit and study and read and probably just have a chit chat and yeah, it's such a cozy space this one is the bathroom the bathroom is quite small by the way it's really small is i think this is the only bathroom in this house and there's not even a bathtub this is supposed to be a european house but there's no bathtub what a silly builder so we're gonna go upstairs and i love this texture what does this happen all the time is this because of an update i'm not really sure Ooh, god rays and this this is the reason why i built this i want to make a skylight to get this effect it's so beautiful look at this <laughs> look this the library I, what what what's blocking me but you can see there's the library we were just there before yeah this is the, the bedroom there's only one bedroom, a huge skylight. I think this is before Miniaturia added beds. I made this using layers. So what I did was, and then this one, I think it's snow. Yeah, and then with snow, I just made it higher. So it's like a pillow or whatever. You can see there's like a different, different level. And then some horizontal bar over here, a desk, a mirror, some wardrobe, a wheel. <laughs> kerosene heater and yeah that's about it it's really small by the way there's only one bedroom one bathroom it's dark but it's not like dark in a way that it's no dark but it's more like dark and yeah i think that's about it those are four builds that i made two years or three years ago i think it's already like three years ago i could release this same build today it still would be fine I just feel like this is much more timeless. So I'm gonna close this video with a classic cinematic montage. Ever since 2023, I think I started doing commentary and stopped doing the usual format. Unfortunately, they don't really do well on this platform. I cannot do it anymore because they don't perform well on YouTube. But I think I want to explain first why I made this video. I need to upload something this weekend. My viewership is kind of dwindling. The video that got me the most views, which is the best aesthetic plants and flower resource pack, is decreasing in terms of the daily viewer count. I just feel like I need to keep making videos now. I, I need to upload weekly. Th that's it. That's the reason why I make this video. It's very low effort and uh, it's relaxing as well. And let me know in the comments if you want more videos where I just explore a map. We're probably even gonna explore other people's maps. A map showcase but not my maps and that's about it for this video i hope you guys find this video to be enjoyable and cozy to watch or listen to yeah if you watch until the end you're simply the best see you around and i hope you guys enjoy the outro see ya bye